everyone, this is Emily from EC Emily, a finance for some. I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is doing okay. I'm going to be doing some oxtail and I'm going to show you how I do this oxtail. I had them trim it for me, all the fat off as much as they can take off. And I washed it with lime. I put the oil in the pot, not too much oil because Oxtail is very fatty. Even though I trim most of the fat off, oxtail is very fatty. I have three tablespoons of sugar that I'm gonna put in there, and I'm gonna have that sugar brown. When you have sugar in the pot browning, you wanna make sure you watch it because you don't want your sugar to be too brown, as if burning, because your food can taste bitter, and you don't want it too light, because then it's only going to be caramelized, and it's gonna have a sweetish, sweetish, taste and that's not what we want so we stand by closely and we look at the pot we look at that sugar and i'm going to show you as to what point we want that sugar to be brown enough to put the oxtail in i've had this oxtail marinating for 24 hours i seasoned it up yesterday morning and i've i've had it in the refrigerator i used my green seasoning to season it up and one teaspoon of salt and that's all I have in this oxtail nothing more now I'm going to show you I transferred the oxtail to a plate because when I put it in the pot I don't want it to you know splash all over so now I'm going to show you what the brown sugar is looking like I'm gonna use the same spoon and we want it to look a little bit more brown You see, I didn't put a lot of oil, and you see what the oil, how the oil is around there now that the sugar is uh, browning. And yes, it's getting to that nice, beautiful color we wanted because we want our oxtail brown, we don't want it burn. Look at that. Look at that, how pretty. Now, this is the pretty brown that I want. So what I'm going to do, lower the stove, and I'm just going to gently put Now I'm going to put the stove back to 4, which is medium high, and I'm not going to put any water in the pot, I'm just going to cover the pot for like about 2 minutes. This is what it's looking like now. Oxtail is a tough meat, it requires a lot of cooking. I started cooking this at 8 a.m. so I'm thinking about two hours to cook. We want it soft. We don't want the meat falling off the bone, but we want it chewable. The oxtail is bubbling away. Let's check it. If you notice, every time I lift the cover, I let the water fall back in the pot. So I'm really adding its own water. And let's turn. You see how oxtail shrinks? Look, look at that. But look at the color. And that's the color we, we want to have. We want to have that nice, pretty, dark brown color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover the pot again. I'm hearing the water falling back into the pot. So I'm thinking the pot is drying up. Let's see. Yep. So now it's time for me to add water. Yep. 
Ayan. See? Okay, ma'am. See that? Look. There's only oil. It's not sticking, but it has gotten to that point where it's only oil in the pot. See that? Look at that. Okay. Now, what we will do is add our water. It's going to... I'm going to add oil. Now we're going to let this boil for about 30 minutes and we will check it and see how soft it is. It's 30 minutes later. It's now 9.15 a.m. Let's check our oxtail. tough we will leave it for another 30 minutes and we will check it again I'm going to cover the pot 30 minutes later it's now 9 45 I have some scallion some shadow benny one small onion piece of ginger a few cloves of garlic yellow pepper, red pepper, green pepper, some thyme, and I have pimento, and I remove the seeds from the pimento, and I will tell you the reason I remove the seed from the pimento. Now I am going to check the oxtail. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, yep. Yes, look at that. Yes, sir. Look at this. Look at this. Softening up. Yeah. Look at that. I'm going to add some water. This is gonna be the last water I'm adding. Maybe that's about four cups. And I'm going to let this cook for another 15 minutes. I'm going to add all that I showed you just now into the pot. To recap, what I'm putting into the pot now scallion, onion, thyme, shadow benny, known as bandania, one green pimento pepper, some garlic. Over here, I have the bell peppers and a piece of ginger. I'm going to add just about one cup of water. And I'm just going to let this cook for about 30 more minutes. It's now 10 a.m. Two hours passed. I'm going to cover the pot. It's now 10.30. And voila. I think it's very soft. I'm going to add one more something to this oxtail. And I'm going to add some carrots.
It's now 10.45 a.m. I want to taste it. And the reason I want to taste it is that I am cooking it for someone. I just want to make sure it's not too bland in the sense that it doesn't have enough salt because I am giving this dish to someone. So I'm going to taste it just as gravy because that would tell me if I have enough salt. Yes, it's not salty and it's, it's tasty. It's very tasty. So 15 minutes, I will turn the stove off. It's now 11 a.m. And I'm going to check the oxtail and this is what our oxtail looks like. I'm going to turn the stove off and you will not see me plating this oxtail. If you remember, I told you I removed the seeds from the pimento pepper and I will let you know the reason. Back in October of 2020, I was having some issues with my bank account and I met a banker who was phenomenal. Very patient, took her time, followed through with me. And in talking, I did let her know that I had a YouTube channel and I, in conversation, I found out that she likes oxtail and I promised her I was going to make some oxtail for her. Well, it's now March 2021, but she had a birthday this week and this is the perfect timing for this oxtail. So I am going to dish this oxtail. You will see it in the dish and I will be delivering it sh shortly after. I wasn't sure if I want to say soon or shortly after, but I'm going to be delivering it shortly after I dish it out. The next time you see this oxtail, you will see it in the dish. This brings us to the end of cooking stewed oxtail. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. I love you all so much and thank you for watching. I'm feeling awesome.